Breaking news. Police nab IPOP militants after gun battle in Anambra. Welcome to today's news. And thank you for tuning in to the news. But please don't forget to subscribe to this channel by clicking on the subscribe button and the bell for more updates. Now to the news details. Please listen to the end. I am delighted to provide you with an update on achievements recorded by the command in our fight against crime and criminality. We have made significant progress in reducing crime rates and ensuring sustainable peace for the safety and security of citizens in the states. On the 27th of April 2023, by 7.50 p.m., the Forward Operating Base FOB Aguata, while on stop and search duty at Afo Unobi Road, intercepted two vehicles, one unmarked brown Lexus Jeep and a black Prado Jeep with registration numbers GWA696CM Abuja. The occupants of the vehicle will refuse to stop when police flagged them down, started shooting sporadically to escape police screening. The operatives engaged the armed men in a gun battle, rescued one of their victims, and arrested three of the gang members suspected to be members of the ESN or outlawed IPOP group. The Eastern Security Network or the IPOP, the indigenous people of Biafra group. Their names include I sent Ujuka, aged 45 years, Sunday Samuel Akban, aged 31 years, and Chinozo Ofa, aka Wolf, aged 24 years. The operatives recovered three AK 47s, two cell phones, two bulletproof vests, two walking talkies, one police uniform for camouflage, three AK 47 magazines, 120 live ammunition. One police belt, one hand glove, a pair of police boots, two police caps, one military t shirt, and one blue police uniform. While other gang members escaped the scene, the suspects, now in custody, confessed to be members of the outlawed Eastern Security Network or IPOP groups and mentioned the various camps or criminal hideouts where they operate. Efforts are already in place to arrest other fleeing gang members. Also, we call the command on 28 February 2023, declared one Eme Unamdi Daniel, 26 years old wanted, a youth call members serving in the police command on allegations of unlawful possession of firearms, money laundry, and defamation of character, fraud, and impersonation. We also want to use this opportunity to let you know the suspect is in custody. The suspect, Unamdi Eme, flew the country to Benin Republic before he was arrested by Interpol operatives. Unamdi also hacked into one of Mr. Chubuike Martin's Equimis accounts and fraudulently transferred a total sum of 47 million naira only to his 14 different accounts owned by him, Unamdi Eme. The case is already before the Federal High Court. My assurance is that the command under my watch shall continue to evolve strategies 
which involve improving operational positioning and engaging with the community leaders, youth groups, and other stakeholders for an inclusive community safety base. I also wish to reiterate our commitment to maintaining law and order within the states, and we will continue to work tirelessly to ensure the safety and security of all citizens. We urge the public to support us by providing us with timely information and reporting any suspicious activities in the communities to us. CP Eshenk Eshenk, Anambra Police Commissioner. The Anambra Police Commissioner is doing its duties diligently and making sure that armed personnel or armed, person, armed personnel or criminals are facing the law of the are facing the law. Now, recently, the police, the Interpols, nabbed IPOB militants who resulted into shootings sporadically when they got to where the police is supposed to stop and search them. And these theory of them were apprehended while others flew off. And why they were they apprehended they, they apprehended them many things were recovered from them. The Anambra Police Commissioner has told the citizens, the communities, to always alert them on time if they see any suspicious activities in their communities. They will continue to work tirelessly to ensure that the safety and security of all citizens are met. And they will wish to reiterate their commitment in maintaining the law and order within the states. So they are, they, are, they are bringing out different strategies to actually curb crimes and criminalities. And they believe that the communities will work with them to ensure a safety and safe city communities for them. We have come to the end of the news. Thank you for staying tuned. Enjoy the rest of your day.